In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the seven things you need to know before moving to the west side of Jacksonville, Florida, right now. Number one is the schools. Uh, my daughter went to the Paxson School of Advanced Arts. Oh, she graduated last year. It is an exceptional high school, one of the top high schools in the country, along with Stanton, which is on the northwest side of Jacksonville. These are some amazing high schools rated very highly in the United States. Probably about 97, 98% of the students end up graduating and going to college or the military. So it's got a high level of academic success. It's such great schools is that families will move into these locations, drive their kids into town to go to these schools. So they are really good schools. You have Robert E. Lee School, which is on the west side as well, that also promotes the dual enrollment schools. It's really great with the schools on that side of town. And then also you're going to have FCCJ, which is a great campus, which is on 17 on the west side. For the schooling, it's really good. I mean, if your kid is going to the high school, definitely check it out. Even the Paxson Middle School is very good. So highly recommend that. The number two thing is the location. The location on the west side is on the I-10 corridor. So it's very close to downtown. Very nice location there towards the west side. You're heading towards Tallahassee, Lake City, Stark, 301. So the location for a lot of folks is really ideal. So that is a huge thing for folks if you're traveling or when you live on the west side, specifically if you have to go to the south side or other parts of town of Jacksonville and you're near that I-10 area near downtown, it, it really is a great location. Also, you will find yourself being close to on the west side, Orange Park, depending where you are on the west side. The west side is one of the largest sides of towns. It spreads a long way in the Jacksonville surrounding areas. And so it's really huge. So the location I think is key and it is close to Orange Park. Some folks, which is Clay County, that's a popular area of town, suburbs. So the west side is very close to the Orange Park area, the Orange Park Mall, a lot of events, uh, farmer's markets there in Orange Park and speaking amazing churches there on the Northwest side. So the location makes it ideal. And if you're new to my channel, before I jump into number three, just hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to learn all about Jacksonville, Florida and surrounding areas. Okay, this one, number three is huge for folks who are in the military or who have family that's in the military, NAS Jax. So you're gonna find that NAS Jax is on the West side. And what it does is it lends to affordable housing. It lends to a strong sense of country, of taking care of things, handling business. Shout out to our military. We give you kudos. We appreciate you guys and all those who serve, who are serving now and their families and who served in the past. So much respect. So the NAS Jax is on the West side. So that is a huge draw. Definitely enhances that side of town. Again, you have affordable housing. You have things that cater to the military, which is a big plus. Another thing, number four, what I would say is the affordability on the west side compared to other areas of Jacksonville. So the west side is going to be a place where you're going to find good values for your money. It's a good place to for starter homes. You will find some new construction homes. The rents are very affordable. And as we know, nationally, rents are going up but you're gonna find some deals on the west side. I don't know exactly why that is. I have an idea, I think, because it's not close to the beach, but that doesn't hold you back from just enjoying all the nice things that is on the west side. So that may be it, or maybe some other reasons, you know, hey, if you got a comment on that, shoot me a question about that. But uh, what I've found based on stats is that typically the west side you're gonna get a solid bang for your buck both for a rental and for a home tons of homes and different sizes shapes you know all on the uh, west side moving on i say number five is the the country like atmosphere on parts of the west side you typically are gonna have larger yards. You're gonna have more space between your homes. You know, that's what I've pretty much noticed. Even with the 
apartment complexes. The complexes aren't, it doesn't seem to be bunched together where there's just a bunch of apartment complexes right next to each other. There's usually, you'll have one, you know, then you'll have space, you know, have a restaurant there. It's just more space, it's more spacious. I get a sense of on the west side. You have, you'll see bigger front yards, typically on average, larger backyards. You definitely get more of the country like feel, suburban type feel, so I definitely say that. And then number six, I'm gonna say the restaurants, great uh, restaurants there on the west side. You know, you'll have some mom and pop restaurants, your traditional restaurants, of course. You're also gonna find some nice, trendy restaurants on the west side. You're gonna find tons of food trucks, food truck Fridays, posting up at different apartment complexes and throughout the city on the west side. They definitely make good food. And then you're also very close to entertainment district. They're in Murray Hill. Avondale is close by, also Riverside. So these are typically considered very near the west side or in the west side, depending on how you look at the city map. You know, Jacksonville, again, is so spread out. Folks who've been here for a little while, they call the west side one thing. Some others may say, oh, well, that's not the west side, that's this area. So you're gonna find different takes on that, but you're gonna find good restaurants. You're gonna find affordable entertainment, you know, improv, different concerts, shows, live bars, live bands, and you're gonna find different things there. Finally, number seven, thanks for sticking through this video. I would say the stability and the people and the longevity. Typically people, on the west side who've been there for a while, they have a strong sense of community. The people are very hardworking, typically, and you're gonna find just someone from the west side, that's where they're pretty much staying. You're not gonna find someone saying, oh, well, if they really like the west side, that's pretty much where they're gonna stay. They may do other sides of town, but the west side, once you've kind of been born and raised in that area, Typically, from what I've seen, is that most folks really I mean, prefer the west side and they stick you know, to that, a lot of pride. And again, you just have the stability of people. The homes are typically very affordable over there. So people stay in their homes a while. You know, like I said, a country type atmosphere over there and the stability. Those are some seven things on the west side. Check some of my other videos out to know more about Jacksonville and surrounding areas. Hopefully that helps. Shoot me a comment. Tell me what you think. You know, uh, maybe there's some other things you might want to add, but these are seven reasons why you need to move to Jacksonville now on the west side. So thanks again, and we'll be talking to you soon.